What's up guys? It's Frank over here at Worldwide Corals and today we want to explain to you how to maybe pack some corals and ship them. So if you have a friend or someone that you know that you always wanted to you know, trade some corals with, um, we're going to show you how to do that today. Right now I'm actually going to kind of pull an order for you guys. Uh, I want to show you what you guys need to basically pack and ship your stuff. Um, you're going to need some bags of course, uh, some rubber bands, You'll need a styrofoam um, box here, and hopefully if you got, you can put a, a cardboard box over on top of that as well, just to keep your, make sure that it's safe. Um, then you're gonna need some tape, and right now we'll go over and I'll show you how to bag a coral. So what we like to do is, usually on a bigger coral, we like to use a liner. And this liner is gonna help protect this coral from puncturing the bag and basically making the bag leak, which is not what we want. So, a nice liner, a plastic liner, will be key to making sure that any big coral uh, will not, like I said, puncture the bag. So right here, I got a, an Acropora. We're just going to lay this on top, and we're going to go around and wrap this coral around. We're going to get some water in the bag. And just slowly put that coral in the bag. Once you have the coral in the bag, you just kind of want to make sure that it's it's nice and secure around that piece of plastic. You're going to want to give it at least more than half of the, the water volume of the coral. So in this instance, you have probably about a half a gallon or something for this size of coral. And then I'm going to show you guys what to do on a smaller piece with a frag. Um, maybe even float it here in a minute. And what I mean by floating is, you can use a piece of styrofoam uh, to actually keep a coral uh, levitated in the water where it's actually floating so it doesn't move around in the bag actually. So once you have that settled in here, you wanna twist this and just go around where it's nice and tight. This is where we'll just kinda use a rubber band. Uh, if you. If you want, you can just basically just go around, tighten this part, and make a loop, and just go around with this rubber band as many times as you can. Once you have that nice and tight, you want to make sure you get another bag so that way you can double up or even triple up the liner of this and make sure that the coral is absolutely safe for travel. Now inside of these styrofoam boxes, we just like to take a piece of paper and just line the bottom with it. And then we'll put the coral in the box. Typically we'll have a heat pad or an ice pack depending on where you live. Um, we'll check the weather and if we need a heat pack, we'll put that heat pack right on top here. And if it's below 55 degrees, we'll use a heat pack. And if it's over 85 degrees, then we'll use an ice pack and we'll put some more paper on top and then we'll close it up. Once we have that closed up, we'll take some tape and we'll seal it up and then put it in the cardboard box. Uh, once it's all fully secured, it is ready to be shipped and you can feel comfortable that the coral will do really well and make sure that it gets there uh, in one piece. So that was a colony that I just showed you um, and now I'm gonna show you how we pack some of our frags. Depending on the frag that you guys have, if it's got a plug on it, we like to use these little cups and the frag plugs will just sit in here so it doesn't move around and we'll put them in a small bag. Let me show you guys. So here guys is an example of an Acropora that we have on a plug. A lot of you guys will frag and put them on plugs so this is how we secure them in the bag which is in this cup here. So we'll have that sitting in there and we'll just put the coral in there and it'll sit nicely in this bag. Now, if you don't have a coral on a plug, what you can do is just, literally most corals will be fine just sitting in a bag. So you, all you'll do is just take the coral and you'll just place it in the bag and fill it up with water. Now keep in mind, you wanna give each coral as much water as you can, um, depending on the size of the bag, of course, and what you have available, but 
Otherwise, you know, the more water is always going to be uh, better for the coral during the transit. So a lot of you guys are going to have rubber bands to use for tying a lot of these bags and putting the corals in. But when you're doing so many corals and, and the amount of orders that we have, we, we use a tipper tie. And this guy will actually Look at that, how clean that is. So that makes things go a lot faster here at Worldwide by us uh, being able to um, basically clamp these bags and have them nice and tight right away. What we like to do with some of the coils that we float, which are euphilias, torches, hammers, uh, frog spawns, those of, the, of that sort. Um, so what I'll show you now is how we float one of these hammers that we that we ship out. So we'll put a little hole in this styrofoam and where the plug is, it'll sit on there. And once it sits in that hole, we'll put a rubber band over it. And that way it floats above the water. Afterwards, put some water in and as you can see, it's nicely floating in the water where it's not hitting the sides and it's basically not gonna hurt itself as it's floating. Make sure you give it some air between the water just so that way it can move around and basically just move in any direction it wants. Hey guys, so we got all the corals boxed up and lined up, ready to be packed up and shipped. FedEx will pick it up here in a moment and we'll be good to go. Thanks again guys, hope you guys like this video, subscribe and share.